and I want to know what inspired this one. Is that, uh, don't you want to go to Mars? Yeah. Well, I um, I actually uh, uh, I wrote a short story. It's on my website. I can read the short story, and you can hear the produce, produce song on my website. Don't you want to go to Mars? And uh, um, I uh, during the depths of the uh, of the Iraq War, I uh, I was just so dismayed at uh, our priorities and what we, we were doing and pouring our money into. And I, and I just said, I, was, I watch the news all the time, especially when I cook, you know. <laughs> and uh, and I, I talk to the TV. <laughs> I re- a few of my songs have been written that way. And uh, I said, don't you want to go to Mars? <laughs> you know? Come on, man. Who wants to go to Mars? I'd rather go to Mars than Iraq. <laughs> and then I got to thinking, well, you know, gosh, Iraq's sort of like Mars. And anyway, I wrote a, sh- a short story about it. And... Um, it's part of a collection of, of military dependents, about military dependents, and how they, the children of warriors in our country learn the grace and caution that come from a permanent sense of estrangement. Uh, growing up the son of a Navy fighter pilot, I, I, I kind of keenly felt that. So it's a, it's a collection I've worked on for a long time. And um, uh, so I, 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 this song just kind of poured out of me. And uh, anyway. Who's singing it on the background on the... Oh, this obscure little folk singer named Janice Ian uh, sings harmony. That's what I thought. I thought it sounded like her. And then I didn't know. uh, Yeah, don't ask me how that happened. But, uh, boy, I sure loved it. Uh, She is so wonderful and and great, and she does a great job. Um, Actually, Chad Watson, my producer, over three albums, he he, he knows Janice. Janice. He played with her for eight years. And um, he called in what what he calls a fun ticket. (laughs) <laughs> you know, he's never, never, he said, I n- never asked you to sing on any of my artists' records. This is one I think you're going to want to do, because she's, she's very pro-education. Janice is a very forward-thinking, educated person, and a writer. She writes science fiction, too. Um, and uh, so, anyway, so she got on there. Dean Parks played orchestral pedal steel on it, and uh, we're, we're happy with the way it turned out. Well, do it. Okay. One, two, three. Durrell has a dream just like Martin Luther King. It's a dream he has passed on to his son. It's a dream to be an astronaut, but not just any astronaut. We're talking first man on the third rock from the sun. Fourth rock from the sun. (laughs) Calculator in the crib starts young Tari's trip learned his times tables by the age of three at five he knew his long division calculus by the age of seven now he's nine and doing trigonometry don't you want to go to Mars sing it with me Hey, don't you want to go to Mars? Now that we've come this far Don't you want to go to Mars? Aaliyah's in Iraq Don't know when she's coming back Yeah, mama's been gone 14 months or more. Sends pictures through the internet, landscape red and desolate, like an evil Eden for the God of War. Don't you want to go to Mars? Hey, don't you want to go to Mars? far Don't you want to go to Mars There's a slave ship in 1688 Sailing across that stormy middle passage There's a spaceship in 2028 
like a silver bottle carrying a message. Darrell calls Tori Rain Man. It's a joke, but they're in pain, man. Lately, Tori's apathetic, sad, and poor. The last they heard, Aaliyah had been stop lost to Haditha. If they could only follow that old drinking gourd, don't, don't you, you want to go, go to Mars? Mars? Hey, don't you want to go to Mars? Now that you've come this far, don't you want to go to Mars? Darrell has a dream just like Martin Luther King. It's a dream he has passed on to his son. I was Janice Ian. I actually sent a demo of that very early on to Tracy. I wanted her to cover it, and, uh, but then I scooped her on it. 